Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you, Freddy? I'm fine. How was I'm your day? 50-50. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you mean by 50-50? Oh, because, well, I have um, I was a little busy in the afternoon. Okay. And, but uh, all it's okay. Okay, now when you say busy, you mean at work? Yeah. Okay. And, and what time do you get off working? Uh, what time do yeah. you finish working? Uh, okay, well, six o'clock. Okay, fine. And what time do you go in? Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? Yes. Okay. So you finish at... No, um, what time do you finish working? Six o'clock. Oh, six, not eight. No, no, six o'clock. All right, all right, good. Maribel. Yes, I, I start eight o'clock and uh -huh. I finish. At six. six. Okay. Yes. Eight o'clock is a good time. Yes. Because and I have near my, my job. Right, right, right. That's even better. Yes. <laughs> you don't have to worry about traveling a lot. No. No, I don't have to have, uh, worry, worry about, about that. Okay, good. Nice, nice. How are you, Maribel? Um, so so. <laughs> uh huh. Did you have a good day? Uh -huh. um, no. So so because I. I I have some problem with my healthy and I will I will have a surgery two surgeries Really so, Yeah so I I feel a little bit worried and I'm not sure uh, what 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 surgery I have to I have to begin the first one I don't know Okay, <laughs> uh, and I, are they serious surgeries? I don't know the uh, uh, the bicycle, bicycle, algo así, vesícula. Oh, your one uh, of them. Okay. The other one, the other one is the womb. Okay. Womb. Yeah, the uh -huh. womb. Yes, the womb. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But well, sometimes I don't feel well. I have some problem with my. Head, head. I, I have some headache and uh, some hurt in my by by. ¿Cómo se dice? Basical. No, basical one too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and do you have a date of when you will go to the doctor? I I went to the doctor today, but I I was looking for. Ah, uh, las paro la paroscopía. Okay. In, in the in the in the surgery of womb. Okay. So so he has to give me uh, with another uh, uh, appointment with another specialist with another doctor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Special, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So well, we hope that um things go well. Uh, God willing. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yes. All right. Good. Uh -huh. So let's begin. Um, do you guys remember what we discussed yesterday? Uh, we we'll discussed yes. about vocabulary with the sleep. Yes, vocabulary related to sleep. That is correct. Today we have another topic related uh, to the same thing, which is sleeping. You know. And everybody, really? needs, oh, okay. yeah, everybody needs to sleep enough hours. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so we have the vocabulary for sleeping. Um, did we do anything else? Do you hey. remember anything else? And we finished about the Christmas um, conversation. Yes. Okay, good, good. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Yes, I'm ready. 
Are you my Morgan? favorite season in the year. Sure. Oh, uh, oh I, my God. I, I think my family uh, is very, is very bored because my, my, my sister, yes. My, my sister that uh, and her, and her husband that uh, were uh, happy, they live in Las Vegas now. So I miss them. <laughs> okay. And, and how much time have they been in Vegas? Since, uh, since 2010. Okay. So it's like nine years now. Yeah, nine years. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. And do they have any plans to come back or no? I don't believe that. Maybe, maybe, but no, because her, their, their, their children or uh, her children uh, get, will to get to get married. Will get married at October. Both of them. Oh. The daughter and, and the son. Uh huh. Okay. This so, October. I think. Uh huh. This October. This month. Uh, 14, 14 and 12, 12 and 14. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, so yes. So, <laughs> okay. So I don't think they're planning to come back. No. <laughs> okay. Teresa. How are you, Teresa? Very well. Did you have a good day? Yes, a good oh. and long day. <laughs> All <laughs> right, very good. Okay, so um, if you don't have any questions about yesterday, uh, we will start with the first activity. Uh, let's see this here. You don't see the PowerPoint, do you? Mm -mm. No. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, do you see it now? Yes. <laughs> okay, can you please read uh, the topic of it? Clauses of even reason and condition. Okay, so these are clauses um, that people use all the time. And they are very helpful when you want to uh be more fluent and um this is something that we need to know so can you read the first one uh maribel as long as okay teresa next one even if karen read the next one please karen Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, don't worry. Better late than never. Yes, that's true. Yes. Can you read number three, uh, Karen, please? Uh, unless. Unless. Freddy, can you read the next one? Only if. And the last one, Maribel? Just in case. Just in case, good. Are you familiar with these clauses? Mm, yeah. Some of them. Okay. Yeah, Which ones? As... Okay, as long as? Do you identify mm. as long as? It's like while. Um, not exactly. Does someone else have another opinion about how to use as long as? Maybe an example. As long as you love me, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> we will be happy. I like it, dear. That example. Yes, I that's love a good, you. That's a good example. That's a good example. Yeah. I me love too. you. Me too, Maribel. Thank you. I'm happy. Yeah, okay. you, you guys are really nice. You guys are a, a, a good group. That's good. Thank you. Okay, Thank so, you. so Maribel says, as long as you love me, we will be happy. Uh, let me give maybe, you one example. Yes, tell me. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's about the time uh, 
uh, during the something. Okay, can you give an example, Karen? Uh, as long as, uh, I don't know, during this class or something. Okay. I, I'm not sure what, what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not very okay. sure. Don't but. worry, don't worry. Now, in this case, when we say as long as, um, we are not talking about any particular period of time. We're not saying if, if it's something short or something long. So, for example, uh, Teresa, ask me for $20. Uh, can you lend me $20, please? Okay, Teresa, yes, I can give you $20 as long as you pay me back. Okay. As long as those $20 don't interfere in our relationship, in our friendship. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Or let's Boy. say uh, my little son says, Daddy, Daddy, can I go to the park? Yes, you can go to the park as long as you do your homework first. <laughs> as long as you do your homework first. Okay. So that is why it's a condition. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you are doing this, something else is possible. Okay. 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 Do you know how to say this expression in Spanish? I have an idea. Could uh -huh. be like, tanto like como que, algo así. Okay. As Mientras. Es, o siempre y cuando haga. Siempre y cuando, uh -huh. exactly. Siempre ah, y esto. Yes. So, uh, Mary Bell was saying, well, as long as Freddie loves me, I'm going to be happy. Then Teresa says, can you lend me $20? And I said, sure, as long as you pay me back, I can give you $20. Okay, is, is the first one clear? Yes. All right. Even if, even if, Even now, if. the word even. It's a condition, too. It's a condition. Yes. It's a condition. It's a okay. Um, uh, maybe if you say, I can borrow the $20 even if you never pay me. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, in that case, you say, I can lend you the $20 even if you forget to pay me. That, that's a good one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if. Uh huh. It's now, aunque, now that you mentioned this, o incluso, huh? aun cuando, aun cuando, aun si. Okay. Now, one observation. Do you see the chat? Sí. Yes. Okay. Do you yes. see the two words borrow and lend? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the differences between them two? Remember, yes. please. <laughs> okay. So, um, Teresa, ask me for the $20 again. Can you lend me $20, please? Aha. Uh -huh. She says, can you lend me $20, please? And I answer, Teresa, you can borrow $20 if you pay me back. So, if you look for this word in Spanish, it's the same word. But in English, it works different. Borrow is when you ask for something. Lend is when you give something. So borrow is pedir prestado. Lend is dar prestado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so the question the, the question is, can you borrow? Borrow me. Uh -uh. Can, can you, can you lend me? me? Can you lend me? Uh, and, and, something. And, and here's the key. Here's the key. Um, it depends on the person that you mention. For example, Teresa, she needs $20. So Teresa, she says, can I borrow $20? Or she can say, Francisco, can you lend me $20? So the difference is, if you mention the person that needs the money, you say borrow. If you mention the person that has the money, you say lend. Got it? 
Yes. For example, for example, I uh, say, may I borrow your pencil? Exactly. Or you can say, can you lend can you me your lend pencil? Me? So the two options are good. It all depends uh, on the person that you mentioned. The person receiving or the person giving. Okay. All right, good. So even if, let's go back to even if. Even if. What is even if? Even if. Even if. Even if, even, even if. if. Anybody? Even if. Mm -hmm. Even if it's raining, we are going to go up dinner. Okay, good. Yes, you can say that even if it's raining, we're going for we're going out for dinner. Very good. Uh, Karen, can you give us an example with even if? Um, even if I don't want to, uh huh. Uh, if I, even if I don't want to go to the office, I have to go. Exactly. Something. Yes. Even if I don't like Mondays, I have to wake up. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So even, even if, if I don't... Uh, yes, sorry? come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Even if I don't understand that yes, topic, yes. I always will try to understand Exactly. It. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Very good. But you said, even if you block me, I'll come look for you in person. <laughs> He said, okay, okay, I will not block you. <laughs> All right, unless. How do you use unless? Unless? Anybody? It's a condition. Uh huh. Give me an example. Anybody? Uh i don't go out with you unless you change my mind good good i'm not going out with you unless you change my mind unless you convince me what would be a synonym of unless a synonym only as long as uh it could be uh-huh what if you say except Except? Unless. Except. Okay, I can give you the $20 unless you give me collateral. Do you remember collateral? Do you guys remember that word? No. Collateral? You see the chat? Yes. Okay. I said, Teresa, I can give you the $20 unless you give me collateral. And then you said, okay, Francisco, I'm going to give you my laptop in collateral. Mm -hmm. That is my yes. warranty. Mm -hmm. That is my warranty that you're going to pay me back. Okay. Do you guys... Uh, uh, have you heard about la cornucopia? Yes. La cornucopia, they give you money, money, but you but have to bring have collateral. To bring collateral. Mm. A television, a computer, anything. Mm. That's collateral. Okay. okay, only if is very similar to unless and just in case. Just in case. How do you use that one? Just in case. Por si acaso. Okay, so look, it's sunny, but just in case, bring the umbrella. Just in case. Now, why would you bring your umbrella on a sunny day? Because Why? suddenly, suddenly could rain. Exactly, because the possibility of rain is there. So just in case is when you're mentioning something that could happen. You're not saying it will happen, but the possibility is that 
there might be rain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, any questions about these clauses? Are you bored? No. <laughs> Maribel? Very bored. Which one? The, the clauses? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to change topic right now. Okay. Any questions about these clauses? Mm, no. No? no. Okay. Fine. Okay. So let's change because Maribel said it's too boring. <laughs> Okay, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, do you see the, the slide? Oh, oh yeah. No. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. It's here. No, we, we, we saw that one already. Should be this one. Do you see this slide? Yes. Yeah. What's the follow? Okay. What's what's the topic? Discuss the following. Okay, discuss the following. What is the first question, Karen? Um, do you think you get enough sleep? Okay, Maribel. What stops you from sleeping more? Okay, Freddie. What's the next one? Freddie, are you what here? Will, what will happen if scientists found ways to let people stay awake longer? Okay. So we have three questions that you guys need to discuss. Okay, so who wants to start? I think you get enough sleep. Um, no, I think sometimes I get enough sleep. Because sometimes, for example, on Friday, I got to sleep very early. Okay. What is early? And then, uh, excuse me? Uh, what time is early? At 8.30. Oh, that's very early. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what else? In my case, sometimes I can, uh, I, I can sleep uh, well, you know, enough. Okay. Uh, but uh, some of days I I get take tossed and torn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make groups right now so you guys can talk with each other and discuss these questions here. Okay. Hmm. Oops. Seven. Two. All right, here we go. Okay, yes. start talking. Yes, well, first question Do you think you get that? No, the night is not long enough. How many more hours do you need in your night, Karen? Uh, oh, <laughs> at least four hours more. Okay. Yeah. yeah, four more, huh? Yeah, I think. Okay. I uh, consider in my case, no. Because, well, I have dark circles. I don't know if this is the correct uh, word to say, ojeras. Eye bags. Oh, sorry. Eye, eye bags. bags. Oh. Thank you. Uh -huh. I have eye bags. 
and sometimes I have problems with sleep and I feel <clears throat> be wide awake when I go to my bed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, and um I toss and turn. <laughs> Good, good, good. It's good that you're using this vocabulary. And do you do something to get sleepy, to feel sleepy? I have a solution for that. Okay, tell us, Karen. I was like that, and I used, uh, I, I used to have a lot of problems to get sleep. But um, my doctor said to me one time, uh, that I have to go to my room with the with my mind clear that I'm going that I'm, I'm going to sleep. So I I am not using my phone and the TV. So uh, when I'm going to sleep, I came to my room. I'm going to the bathroom, clean my face. Uh, I put some music, but. Uh, like a spa music, right? Like nature or something classic. Okay, nature turn, sounds, uh huh. Yes, nature sound. And turn off the light. And please, 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 please don't uh, take your phone because mm. that's that's very very bad thing for you because your mind it. Um, it's like set at, at the last thing you saw at your phone. Maybe it's work uh, or or something in Facebook or or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not uh, it's not good for for your sleep. Good, good. And and it works for me. It works for me. Nice, nice. Evelyn, yeah. uh, do you get yeah. enough sleep? Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, I sleep around eight or nine hours. Oh my per god! Day. That's for good. class, I go to the bed and, and I wake up at six a.m. <laughs> okay, maybe you should share two or three hours with Freddie. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Say, Freddie, I'm sending you three hours so you can sleep. <laughs> during, yeah. during the the week, but in weekends, um, I wake up at nine, eight, ten. I I love sleep, really. That's good. That's good. Let me visit your friends. I'll be back. I think, not I think right. it's true, but uh, for me, uh, what stopped stop me from sleeping more is my my job sometimes i have to to do some um, uh, reports to my uh, my manager and my boss but also uh because i have a, a baby mm -hmm. he is uh, 10 months old Sometimes oh, yes. uh, he he awakes for any noise or something, so I I have to to wake up. Ah. Uh, to... Yes. How many babies do you have, Fernando? Just one. Oh, this is your first one. The first and the only one. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, what about and the what, others? What about you, Nidia? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Late. I, okay. just have, I just have one kid. He's 23 years old. And he's the only one, too. My little baby forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. And about the discuss, I don't know what uh, uh, question are you talking about. We are, we are answering the second one. Okay, what stops me from sleeping more? I don't know. It's my my system, my body. I I am weird. During labor days, I I I wake 
woke up because the alarm sounds, but in the weekend, it's five in the morning and I, I am, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what, yes. It happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. Yes. All and right. sometimes I wake up at three in the morning, two in the morning, because I, I'm thinking about things that I, I have to do. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I say to myself, uh, okay, you cannot do anything right now, so go to sleep. And it works. But other times I have to take the computer and uh, do something, write something to calm down myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Know. <laughs> you know what I do sometimes when I have insomnia, um, which that almost never happens. Thank God I sleep really well. But sometimes when I have insomnia, I paint. I paint the walls Ooh. of my house. Not drawings, not landscapes, but there is always a place to paint. So I have the paint, I have the brush, and when that day comes that I that I have insomnia, <laughs> two, three in the morning, <laughs> I'm painting my house. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> but it works. After 45 minutes or after an hour after painting, you get tired and I go back to sleep. Okay. <laughs> it's a kind of therapy. Yeah, yeah. sure. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay, and the last one? The last one say what, what would happen will... if scientists found ways to let people stay awake longer? Uh-huh. I, I don't know, I, I think the, the body needs some time to rest, to, to get energy again, and less time of sleeping is, will cause some damage. Sure. Okay. I think that will, that will be the worst uh, discovery uh-huh because yes. uh well as media says that we need to to get uh rest uh, i i just remember i i wrote uh, i read um a, a a article an article uh that that was in in japan they were researching about that because they say that we have the 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 capability to 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 stay awake longer, so we can work more. But um, I think that 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 is not uh, good for us. No, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I think that is not. It's necessary to sleep. Exactly. And, and could be that some people need more time, more hours of sleeping, and some people could need less, but you need to sleep. Sure, sure. That's yeah, very yes, important. It, yes? Yes. Well, what it, it works for me, it, it won't work for you. Yeah. Because, be. yeah, it, it, everybody is different. I, well, I have, we have like some webinars in my job, and we discuss like, those those topics, how to be more active in our work and something like that. And that was the one that the topic that we we, we were talking about about having a good rest that mm -hmm. that will help us to improve our performance in our work because yeah. if you are uh, with a good energy, enough energy, you will be able to, to complete your, your, your task. So I think that for, well, in my case, right, in my case, uh, I, sleep, I try to sleep always between six to eight hours. But for example, Tunisia, it will work only to, to sleep four hours. But everybody is, is different, but yeah. I think that 
we we have to 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 be in, in, in the average i think uh, between six to to eight to eight hours good 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 opinion good opinion anybody else let me visit your friends and then we'll go back to the main session i'll be back okay 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 uh it's the thing that wake me up every morning because I wake up every day at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. yes. Teacher, yes. we have a question. Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see las ganas de ir a hacer pipi? <laughs> okay. Go to the barren? No. Okay. Like, if it's general, you say, look, I want to go to the bathroom. If not, you can say, mm -hmm. I need to go pee. Okay. Mm, pee. Pee. Uh, pee. Yes, pee. P-E-E. -E. I, to I need to go mm -hmm. pee. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Number you. one. <laughs> I need to go number one. I need to go number two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one. Number two. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to return to uh, to the main session. Okay. 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 Okay, are we all back? Can you hear me, Karen? Yes, teacher, I'm here. What about the others? Can you hear me? There's no one here. Yeah, it's strange, huh? Yeah. Only Evelyn and Karen. Evelyn. Hmm. That's strange. strange. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> says, good question. What did you do, Francisco? <laughs> <laughs> Only four of us. Yeah. Maybe I um uh, maybe I cut the, the, the conversation with the others. I'm not sure. Or maybe the others uh, don't came back to the main session. But that's strange because usually when I click on uh, yeah, but but when you when you said uh, when you click the the button that says uh, back to the main session, you have an option uh -huh. to get out of the to go out of the meeting or going back the to, main the, station. to the main session. So you but, have an option. Yes, but that's uh, okay. Karen and Evelyn, were you in the same yeah. room? Yes. Yeah, but, and, but and I, I pressed the, the button. And, and, and Freddie. Okay, they're coming back now, I think. We have Jose, Jose Evelyn, Robert. And Let's Sonia. see who else. Voice me. Mm, Freddie and Maria. There is only five in here, including you, teacher. Okay, I think I know what I did. Okay, everybody's coming back in, 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 in one minute. Okay. Anyways, um, so did you, Karen said something very important about how, how to get sleep easily. Karen, do you want to share with the rest? Um, yeah, of course. Well, uh, uh, I, I, I have some troubles uh, to get sleep a few times ago. And my doctor said, uh, uh, or give me a good advice. So I had to set my mind to go to sleep every night. So uh, he's, she said, uh, you don't have to take your phone. Please don't, don't turn off the, the TV, don't turn on the TV. So go to your room, 
go directly to bed, cl uh, clean your face, and go to bed, put some music. So I, I use uh, nature sounds or classic music. And, and I use the, um, the timer thing in, in my phone. Sometimes it's my phone, sometimes it's, it's the TV. I, I have a channel uh, which nature sun. And that's it, I, I, I put it in, uh, and I'm going to sleep with my, my bedroom uh, completely dark. Good, good. And so I have no trouble. Yeah, so in other words, we need to disconnect ourselves yes. from all the things that we are attached to during the day. <clears throat> so if you analyze how much you use your cell phone during the day, I think it's good for the body to disconnect from your cell phone at night. And computers and television mm -hmm. and music that might keep you awake because some music Especially if you like it, you're like, oh, my favorite song. And then you start singing, <laughs> things like that. All right. Yeah. Um, anybody else wants to give um, other type of suggestions or advice to sleep uh, easily? No. Drink something hot, like a tea, manzanilla, what the name of the oh, oh, They are... They are very good. Sure, sure. Yeah, hot tea is, is very effective. Yeah. Not, not only to make you go to sleep easily, but it has other benefits, you know. It burns fat, uh, eliminates yeah. sugar from your blood. It, it has different benefits. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. All right, uh, can you guys hear me well? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm going to read an article for you. Um, after I read it, I will give you some questions uh, to see if you remember the information. You can answer those questions. If you don't remember, I'll read the article a second time. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And it goes like this. <laughs> In the days before electricity, people didn't worry much about sleep. They usually went to bed a couple of hours after sunset and woke up at sunrise. Even if they stayed up, there wasn't much to do in those days after the sun went down. But then came the electricity. And now we have the internet, smartphones, stores that are open 24-7 in longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much should we sleep? Like it or not, many of us are sleeping less on average. In 1910, most Americans slept nine hours a night. That dropped to seven hours by 2001. In 2009, a study by the National Sleep Foundation found that the average American got only 6.7 hours of sleep. The news is even worse for people who work the night shift. They sleep an average of just five hours. Are we sleeping enough? Not if you believe the old formula of eight hours of rest, eight hours of work, and eight hours of play. On the other hand, Neil Stanley, a British scientist who studies sleep, he believes that people's sleep needs vary. Some people need as many as 11 hours, but others need as few as three hours. How much do we really need? To find out, he says, simply sleep until you wake up naturally without the help of an alarm. Feel rested, that's, your, that's the sleep you need. Okay, can you paraphrase what I just read? What did I read? What do you remember? You were reading about uh, how how sleeping habits have changed uh, during the history. Okay. Um, before electricity and after electricity. Right, right, right. What else? Anybody else? 
remembers anything? No? Oh, yeah. okay. uh, yes, they are talking about uh, how many hours or, or, or how can we decide uh, how much time we have to sleep. All right. When you guys were discussing the previous questions, somebody says something very important. What is good for me doesn't work for you and vice versa. What works for you maybe is not good for me. So everybody is, is different. So according to the guy, according to the scientist, how many hours do we really need? Eight Seven. hours. Eight Seven hours. Eight. You sure? Yeah. No, Seven it's, or if eight. you wake up uh, naturally, that's your time. Uh huh. Because he says some people need 11 hours, other people yeah. just need three or four. But at the end, who is right? The one that sleeps 11 or the one that sleeps only three or four? And then he says, if you wake up naturally and your body feels rested, then that's the amount you need. But okay. everybody thinks different. Okay, so here's the yeah. first question. Write it down, write it down. What happened in 1910? What happened in 1910? Question number two. What happened in 2001? Question three. How many hours do people sleep? How many hours do people sleep when they work night shift? How many hours do people sleep when they work night shift? Night? Night shift. What's the meaning of that? Night shift. Five hours. Okay, uh, right now, let me write it for you. When you have to work in the night, Maribel. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Shift yeah. is... Um, night shift. Come on. Night shift. Night uh, shift. shift. Now, night do, shift. Do, do you remember... Tornado? The, um, turno de noche, night shift. Turno. Mm -hmm. Yes, shift means turno. Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember the synonym we use for night shift? Do you know um, the synonym for cemetery? No. You see the chat? Graveyard. 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 Graveyard is the nickname people use to express when they work night shift. Yeah? Night shift. <laughs> so night shift and graveyard are exactly the same. Yes, but you work less hours. Exactly. I used to wear a, a, a graveyard shift. Uh-huh. It, it, it's true because let's say if you work during the day, you work eight hours. Eight hours. But if you work graveyard, you might work seven. six. Seven. Or seven. Seven. It, it depends on the company that you work for. Oh, okay. but, but the law says, but the law says seven hours. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Uh, and uh, and they pay you more. Yeah. Yes, I used to work at Sykes, uh, oh. seven hours. Okay. And was that an English account? Yes, I was in an English account. What was the name of the account? PlayStation. Oh, PlayStation. Good. Yes. So you like video games? Yes, I love video games. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, so are the questions clear? Yes, but I the don't have one, the answers. David? The what second one. What happened in 2001? Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, you guys ready? 
Yes. Okay, here, mm -hmm. here I go one more time. Pay attention. In the days before electricity, people didn't worry much about sleep. They usually went to bed a couple of hours after sunset and woke at sunrise. Even if they stayed up, there wasn't much to do in those days after the sun went down. But then came the electricity light bulb. And now we have the internet, smartphone stores that are open 24 seven and longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much should we sleep? Like it or not, many of us are sleeping less on average. In 1910, most Americans slept nine hours a night. That dropped to seven hours by 2001. In 2009, a study by the National Sleep Foundation found that the average American got only 6.7 hours of sleep. The news is even worse for people who work the night shift. They sleep an average of just five hours. Are we sleeping enough? Not if you believe in the old formula of eight hours of rest, eight hours of work, and eight hours of play. On the other hand, Neil Stanley, a British scientist who studies sleeps, believes people's sleep needs vary. Some people need as many as 11 hours, but others need as few as three. How much do we really need? To find out, he says, simply sleep until you wake up naturally without the help of an alarm clock. Feel rested? That's your sleep uh, you need. And that's it. So what was the answer for the first one? Eight eight hours. Hours. Nine, nine, nine hours. Okay, but what is the complete hours. sentence? Okay, the question says, what happened in 1910? What is the complete sentence? They most slept, slept, most slept, of people slept, slept, nine. slept nine hours. Okay, so the, the, the answer comes in simple past tense. You say, most Americans slept. 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 Yeah, slept mm -hmm. is the past tense mm -hmm. of sleep. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about the second question? What happened in 2001? A foundation found uh, that most of Americans slept 6.7 hours. Okay, fine. All right. And what about that people work graveyard like Fernando? He said that he used to work graveyard. How many hours do they sleep? Anybody? An average of five hours. Five yes. Hours. Average five Gosh. hours. Now, when you say average, that means that it can be a little bit less. Mm -hmm. A little bit less, a little bit more. Yeah. Right? And five hours. Five uh -huh. I feel well. What is it? I don't feel well with, with five hours. I know. Oh. I, I, I forget everything. Oh my God, I think very bad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah, everybody. I, I feel a little, a little bit crazy, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I am uh, angry. Angry, uh huh? Yeah. Angry uh, too. In a bad mood. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, good. Now, according to the scientists, how many hours do we really need? It depends. Um, it depends with every person. Uh-huh. It's recommended to simply sleep until you wake naturally. Yes. Naturally, without alarms. Exactly. Now, does something happen to you that maybe is your day off and you are awake very early? Yeah. And that is yeah. your natural alarm, you know, like your body wakes you up. I mean, you sleep, you wake up naturally. Yeah, that usually happens on weekends. Uh huh. That you wake up early. I yes. hate that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it, it depends how you see it. You know, sometimes, like when I wake up really early, I, I I feel happy, like, oh my goodness, I have many hours to do different things. 
No, not on weekends. <laughs> yeah, not on weekends. Uh. Not on weekends. <laughs> Karen, you don't have children? Um, yes, I you do. have a boy of, uh, of 20 to 21 and a girl of 16. 16 and 21? Yes. Okay. Big kids? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, it is worse when they grow up. Uh-huh. And do they sleep a lot like their mom? Uh, they sleep a lot. Okay. I don't. Okay. I can't. I, 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 uh, since from Monday to Friday, I wake up at 4 a.m. And on Saturday and Sundays, I want to wake up later because I have the time to sleep more. Uh -huh. but I can't. I'm always up at 6 a.m. Okay. That's my top. All right. <laughs> and, and why do you wake up so early, Karen? I don't know. But I wake up and I. 4 a.m., that's early. Oh, on, on, on Yeah, on weekdays. Um, because uh, vanity. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's true. No, I it's have... okay. <laughs> yeah. We understand that perfectly. Yes, I wash my hair every day and then I I dry it and then I iron it. So yeah. Okay. It is a, a long process. Yeah, so that's the price you pay for beauty. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Sacrifice your sleep. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No. no Teacher, I yes. have a question. Yes, when, Maribel. When we have the fa the last the last the last class, uh, when when we ha when we have to finish the platform. Okay, today is the first October. October. Yes, October the first. October. October the first, yeah. Okay, first, second, third. I think it's this coming Monday, but I'm not sure. I think it's mm -hmm. this coming Monday. I have a, a, a WhatsApp message that says the the last class is um, on Thursday. On third, uh huh, and on the last uh, day to platform is on Friday. Okay. On Friday. Yes. Okay, so Friday, uh, Maribel. Okay, thank you. All right. So have a good night. Thank you very much for your time. Sleep well. Good night. Teacher. And listen have to parents. Nice. Nice. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. <laughs> good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. See ya.